Hello guys, today in this video we will learn how to install WordPress manually on your hosting or edge panel. Uh, to do that you need to first log into your hosting account. Uh, then you will see an interface like this. You click on websites and for the website that you want to install WordPress, just click on manage. Uh, then click on the file manager option here and your file manager will be opened. So this is our file manager. And here we have the public underscore HTML folder. This is where you will be uploading your files. Make sure you do not upload it here. Okay, so click on public HTML and you need to go to wordpress.org. Um, please don't get confused between wordpress.com and wordpress.org. Those are two different websites. Okay, so we will have to download our WordPress files from wordpress.org. I will put the link in the description box below so you come to wordpress.org click on get wordpress and just click on download and your file will be downloaded i already have it downloaded so i won't be downloading it again so once you download the file you click on the upload button here click on file and here you have your wordpress folder and just click on open that is the wordpress zip file that we are uploading so until it it is getting uploaded. You can see the blue bar here. It's, it is uploading it. So till then we'll go back to our dashboard. And here we click on database. Here you can say uh, your database name. I'll say Charmin and here Charmin user. And the password you can just generate it using the this button here. Make sure you copy the password and click on create. So your database is successfully created here and our, our file is also uploaded we need to now extract this zip file so we right click on it click on extract and here we select the destination and we uh, write the folder name here public.html and click on extract and our file is extracted here and now we no more need this so just delete it go to wordpress just control a all of these or command A if you're using Mac. And then we need to move all these files in the public.html folder. So just double click on this. It should be in this path. Okay, public dot public underscore HTML. Click on move and here you see we have all these files present in public underscore HTML. Now we do not need this WordPress folder, so just delete it. Click on delete. And here you have all the files ready. Now here you have a sample file we need to make rename this file as wpconfig.php so just rename this file click on rename and here it is renamed okay now if we go to the website from here if we click on manage and we go to the website you will see a database error here okay so now why is this because we still haven't connected our database to the uh, website to the files that we have connected like to the wordpress okay so we just click this is the file where we'll be connecting our database so just right click on it and click on edit and the password that you copied you just paste it over here and the uh, database name you can copy it from here just paste it over here and the database username also you can copy from here and just paste it here make sure there is no space click on save and once this is saved when you refresh the website you can you will now be able to install wordpress so you see click on english click on continue and here you can just give it a uh, title. I will just write admin and admin123. I'm using a very weak password here just because I will be changing it later on. This is just to show you guys. So make sure you use a very strong password because that this can leave your site vulnerable uh, to potential hackers. So make sure you use a strong password here. And do not tick this here. It will discourage the search engines like Google and everything from indexing your site, which is not a good thing. Right now, I'm just creating uh, 
this website for the video purpose that is the reason i am uh, tick marking this you guys do not have to take it okay and you just click on install wordpress and here you go your wordpress will be installed it is this easy to install wordpress manually so you click on login here and admin and admin one two three and we just log in uh, so even on if you have like a cpanel then there also you can install wordpress in the same manner there it is nothing different the only thing is there you have like uh, many options in the cpanel so to upload your files you will have to go to the file manager in all the list of those options and upload your files there and to create database there will be an option called database wizard so you just have to click on that and create a database and then just connect the database to your wordpress a file like in the wp config file as i showed you right now and you will be good to go so here if you click on visit site here you go your website is ready your dashboard is also ready so now you can start editing your website so installing a uh, wordpress manually is this easy you just do it a few times and uh, you then no more will need a video or anything you will learn it okay so thank you so much guys for sticking till the end and if you learned at least one thing from the video that then do not forget to press that like button also subscri subscribe to my channel i'll be coming up with um, similar videos and also if you guys want to read a blog on this then you can definitely check the blog link in the description box below uh, so the same thing is explained in a written blog if you like to read then you can um, just go through it or you can just give it a look there are i'll be writing many more blogs so maybe some of them can help you so yeah thank you so much guys for watching uh, see you in the next video till then bye